the hill. Pretty phantasmagorical. Pretty what? Pretty phantasmagorical, with an F, which means more fantastic than fantastic. <laughs> Rubbish, it's PH, as in phantasmagoria, a series of illusions or phantoms. <laughs> There's the avenue. The Milbury Stones. The books say they were erected about 3000 BC. Even earlier. So they're old in the Stonehenge? Probably. By the time Stonehenge was completed, people have been worshipping here for hmm, a thousand years or more. Worshipping what? The sun, maybe? Here's the circle. With the village inside it. Scary. What is? Not knowing anybody. Oh, you soon will. Suppose they all turn out to be nutters. Do we have to stay the whole three months? <laughs> yes, we do. If I don't complete my research, the university's going to want their grant back. Unless <laughs> we've already spent half of it. Dad, stop! <laughs> Once again, Mrs. Crabtree, I'm very sorry. I just didn't see you. Never mind, sir. No harm done. We didn't expect to be met. No. Oh. Mr. Hendrick's idea, sir. He thought you might not find us so easily. That's very kind of him. And you? No trouble, sir. After all, we didn't have you here. I'd have no one to look after, would I? No, true. By the way, sir, this stuff arrived yesterday. I told the men to leave it where it is for the time being. One, two, three. Yes, it's all present. No damage, is there, sir? China, would it be? Or glass? Uh, no, Mrs. Crabtree. Not China. Or glass. Oh. Well... You'll be wanting your tea, I expect. And some of my chocolate cake. Hmm? Um... I've never known you refuse an offer like that before. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Oh, Matt, go and get the rest of the cases in the car, will you, so I keep this lot? Right. <laughs> Dad? Yes, what is it? Oh, nothing. I'll get the cases. Oh, I'm sorry. Magnetometer. No doubt. An instrument for measuring magnetic fields. Magnetic fields? Where are they? A magnetic field is a field of force that surrounds a magnet. Well, you've got no magnets here. That's where you're wrong, Mrs. Crabtree. You've got at least 53. The stones, the standing stones. Each one a source of great magnetic power. The stones? I never heard that. How do you know? That's my job. Well, the stones. Well, I never. So you've come to measure our stones. Well, I never. Shall I show her the picture, Dad? Yes, good idea. See if one of the locals recognises it. Mrs. 
Crabtree, come and look at this. And that was just the effect the artist was after. Hardly an auspicious start to your tenancy, Professor Brick. Uh, Mr. Hendrick. Uh, just so. Not a good time for the landlord to appear. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Have we another pot, Mrs. Crabtree? Oh, yes, sir. Well, then, if you've quite recovered. A tea for three, please, Mrs. Crabtree. And I rather think you could do with a cup yourself. Yes, sir. Happy day, sir. Now, what was all that about? That. Where did you get this? My son found it in a junk shop. Your name, young man? Matthew. Matthew Brake, sir. What made you buy it? I just knew I wanted it. It was about a year ago, before I knew I was coming here. Now I think it looks like the country round this village. There's the hill, and that will be the start of the avenue. Yes, there is a resemblance. What do you suppose it represents? Some ancient ceremony, perhaps? Dad says Milby could have looked like that in the old days. It's very raw, powerful. Have you ever seen anything like it? Nothing. It's very early, good groundwork on wood panel, when well, there's an inscription, um, quad non... Quad non est, similo, dissimiloque, quad est. Which means? Something like, I deny the existence of that which exists. Excellent. <laughs> With or without help? With. <laughs> I deny the existence of that which exists. Remarkably futile statement, don't you think? like refusing to believe what one knows to be true. Right, Matt. Boring business chat coming up. Explore. Everyone here is very friendly. I'm sure you'll find someone to show you around. Hello. Hello. Can we have a ride? Where to? Oh, just round the village. Show you the sights. I haven't got a bike. Well, there's one in the shed. I read your paper on megalithic lunar observatories. I was very impressed. Checking my references as a tenant. Oh, my dear fellow, don't be so modest. Anyone with the faintest interest in astrophysics has heard of Adam Brake. We must have more than a faint interest to have come across the observatory's paper. I dabble, you know. It's difficult not to speculate inside the circle. Odd, that. Odd? Matthew coming across that picture. Perhaps the picture came across him. Happy day! Come on! When your work here is finished, you'll stay. I'm afraid I can't afford to. I have a growing boy to bring up. My wife died two years ago. I'm sorry. I have Matthew. He's a great consolation. How did he, um... How did he take it? Very well at first, but... But what? Well, I found it was unwise to let him handle any of my wife's possessions or books, things like that. He began remembering incidents with her in incredible detail. It's morbid, really. Perhaps the change you've seen will help. I hope so. Another reason for your staying on. What's his future? Astrophysics, probably. I think he's inherited some of my... Intelligence? Uh, curiosity. 
Happy day, Mrs. Warner. Happy day, Bob. Cornets for two. Mart ice cream. No, Bob, no thanks. Two, please, Mrs. Warner. Vanilla? And chocolate. Vanilla and chocolate. All right. Hello. Hello. Just arrived. Why were you staring through our window? I heard you were coming. What? New people. We need new people here. Why? We've got to stick together. My trees. Who's she? That's Sandra. Her mum looks after the museum. She's strange. Yes, I know. She says funny things. Happy day, boys. Happy day, Mrs. Warner. That's because she's not a happy one. What's a happy one? Someone who's happy, of course. How long do you prefer staying here? Oh, the universe has given me three more months' research. Three months? Uh -huh. And then my grant runs out. <laughs> Doesn't sound a very long time for much serious research. Oh, that's the end of, of a year's work. Ah, oh, George, I brought you a new customer, Mr. Brake. He's with us for a while. Our drinking man, I hope. I'll have a whiskey. Two large ones, if you please. Right, sir. Margaret Smythe, another new arrival. She's curator at the museum. Ah. Widowed, one daughter. Margaret, this is Adam, Adam Brake. Poor fellow doesn't know anyone in the village and wants to be taken under your wing. Why mine? I think he likes the look of the feathers. <laughs> Maybe. I think I'm going to need your help. I'm doing some research on the circle, the stones. I know. A village is a small place, Mr. Adam. Um, may I? Please. I'm as up to date as is academically possible on the circle, but... Well, I'm sure you must have some theories. Oh, yes. I have plenty of theories. I'd very much like to hear them. No. Come to the museum tomorrow. We can talk then. Sherry. And, uh, etc. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Milbury, Mr. Brake. Indeed. And may I include you both in my usual toast? Old times and new. You should sit there for the moment. Thanks. Hello. Kevin! <laughs> so, new boy, what are you going to do about that, then? Break your leg. Hey, go on. Yeah. Stop it! <laughs> Had to find out if he was human. Of course he is. He only arrived yesterday. Good. One of us, then. What do you mean? Not one of them. One of them? Don't be silly. He doesn't know the difference. The difference between... Happy day, children. Happy day, Happy day. Happy day. Now, before we begin, I want you to welcome a new member of the class. Stand up, Matthew. This is Matthew Brake, who's joining us for a few weeks. Matthew's father is an astrophysicist. Anyone know what that entails? Bob. Study of matter and energy in relation to the stars, Miss. Rubbish. 
Correct, Matthew? Yes, miss. Now, anyone have any problems with the prep I set you yesterday? Bob, would you like to show us how you solved it? after our other friend, so here's something else to be thinking about. Right? Off you go. Miss Clegg? Oh, not you, Matthew. We'll start you on something else, shall we? Just to see how you get off. Some of us have difficulty even with the simple stuff, don't we, Sandra? And I suppose it's no use asking to see your work, Jimmo. Figures are not your strong point, are they? Have you any idea what one and one means? Hey, that's a farmer, miss. Explain yourself. Well, on a farm, put one and one together, you usually get a third. <laughs> you find that funny, Daddy? Sorry, miss. Seems we've drawn another blank. Think you can do better, Matthew? I'll try, miss. See how you get on. Anyone finished? Good. Morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, not happy day. <laughs> Definitely not. Happy day sounds more like a password than a greeting, doesn't it? Yes. What are these? Oh, they're ley lines. Ley lines, are they indeed? <laughs> Tell me you believe in all that sort of thing. I try to keep an open mind. Oh, come on. Invisible straight lines that are supposed to connect ancient sacred places, churches, mark stones, barrows. And stone circles. <laughs> you're my idea of hell. Write out 100 ley lines. <laughs> <laughs> I take it you're not a believer. I'm a scientist. Scientists need proof. Mm. Well, I can't offer you that, I'm afraid. But there are some interesting theories. Some people even believe that ley lines are power cables and that the sacred places they connect are temples built by Neolithic man as a storehouse of psychic energy. So, Milbury's full of psychic energy, is it? Who traced out these lines? Oh, various lay hunters. People who spend all their spare time looking for them. Some I worked out for myself. How many are there? Fifty-three. Interesting. Why? How many stones are left standing in the circle? Fifty-three. Well done, Matthew. I can see it won't take you long to catch up. Catch up? With the others? Well, I think they're a bit above my standard. Oh, nonsense. There's no knowing what you'll achieve once you're... Once I'm what, miss? Once you've settled down, Matthew. How long have you been here? Oh, it seems like ages, but it's been hardly any time at all. Just six weeks. You obviously enjoy it. I enjoy the work. I'm trying to catch up with the facts. First time you've curated, is it? First time I've had to earn my own living. Luckily, I had a degree in archaeology and a colleague of my husband's on the selection board, so. So, what don't you enjoy? I don't enjoy being alone. You miss your husband? No. No, I mean, you don't understand. You haven't been here long enough. Well, do you mean the happy day natives are unfriendly? I mean, I'm glad you're here. Dropped. I'm not in the team. Oh, what did you expect? I scored twice. Marvellous, isn't it? Top scorer and you get dropped. You argued with decisions. That's no way to be happy. Happy? That striker deliberately fouled me and the ref took no notice. 
Well, perhaps he was unsighted. Perhaps he was stone blind. Well, you certainly told him so. Did it make you feel better? I'll tell you what would make me feel better. Go on, then. Thump me. <gasps> See? Didn't solve anything, did it? All right, Mrs. Smythe, would you care to summarise? Certainly, Professor. Hmm. The stones are undressed sarsen, weighing approximately 40 tons each. There are 100 in the original circle, of which 53 now remain. Two avenues of stones used to extend from the circle, uh, one to the southeast, which terminates in the barrow on the hill known as the Hackpen, uh, Serpent's Head or Sanctuary, and the other to the southwest, which no longer exists. These avenues form the head and tail of the solar serpent, the symbol of inner truth. Bravo. Not bad for a beginner. Walking encyclopedia. <laughs> no, I've just got good eyesight. What? Oh. <laughs> yes, 40 tons. Wouldn't like to get caught under that. Now, someone was caught centuries ago. Uh -huh. The barber surgeon. He was helping to bury one of the stones when it crushed him to death. And he was found? Well, earlier this century. When they re-erected the sarsen, his skeleton was found underneath. Why were they burying the stone? Local superstition. The villagers believed that if they buried one of the stones each year, it would bring them luck. <laughs> Didn't do much good for him, though, did it? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the guided tour. I must uh, get back to my work. What's first on your schedule? First to make a schedule. And then I must do some electronic dowsing. Find out where the fallen stones are and things like that. Well, there's no need to douse. There are concrete posts marking their positions. I prefer to do my own research. Anyway, I like playing with expensive sonar equipment. Adam, mm -hmm. would you do something for me? Of course. Touch one of the stones. What? I just want to see if you're the kind of man I think you are. What sort of man is that? No, please. Come with me, please. Just want me to touch it. Mm -hmm. 